Hello, I'm back here to show you how to dilate with a straight edge and a compass. Today I'm going to walk you through on how to dilate by one half, also dilate by one quarter, and then we'll talk about dilating by three quarters. It all centers around the perpendicular bisector, which is, in my opinion, the best bisector there is. It's also, in my opinion, one of the most important constructions to do with a compass and a straight edge. So this is how it goes. We're going to dilate this triangle through this point, and that's our center of dilation. It begins by drawing in the projection lines that are shining from the constant or the center of the dilation to each of the points. Of those three blue segments. And I do this by using my compass. You're going to open your compass a little bit more than halfway between each point on the triangle and point D. A uh, trick that I learned just this week that I discovered myself is you want to open it up just a little bit more than halfway and take your time to do that. If you do that, then you're going to get a less messier picture. Because um, the last thing we want is a big uh, hunk and mess on the page. So what I'm going to do is take some time for each of these blue segments and find out what's a little bit more than halfway. So to me that looks like a little bit more than halfway. I'm going to check it. Yeah, it does look a little bit more than halfway. If it wasn't a little bit more, then I'd have to open it up a tiny bit more. But I'm going to lock that compass in and then spin, creating two arcs, one from point D and one from point B. When I do that, I'll get a nice deflated football, Patriots fans. And I'm going to take the top of that deflated football and the bottom of it and draw a line with my ruler that connects those two. That black line, or black, that black segment right there is the perpendicular bisector of DB. It's perpendicular and it's the midpoint of the two. Since it's the midpoint, I've actually brought this back half the distance, so I'm beginning to create a brand new triangle that's half as large. Now all I have to do is repeat those same steps again for the other two segments. Planning out a little bit more than halfway. Tightening that compass down. Once you tighten the compass down, you don't have to change the size of the compass anymore. You're going to arc from the center and arc from the other point. You see a nice flat looking football there. And just like the Patriots, you want your footballs to be nice and flat so that when you draw this, you get these little miniature footballs which aren't as distracting as the bigger ones. So, that would be our brand new point C. Now we just have to repeat it one more time between these two. And even, you know, even if you're a little sloppy, you can still take your time and do a good high quality job with this. So you don't have to be you know, a very good artist, but you do have to be patient because the compass can slip and give you issues and get you frustrated. So I want to make it just a little bit more than halfway. If I don't open it enough, then the arcs will, will not intersect each other. So I want to go just a little bit more than halfway. I can see I'm taking my time. That looks exactly halfway. So I've got to open up just a tiny bit more. All right. All that prep before pays off because of a nice, neat-looking picture at the end. Here we go. So another one of those, I've been calling them football shapes. And they sort of look like eyeballs, too. You're just going to connect the sides of the eyeballs to come up with your perpendicular bisector, and that would be your brand new point A.
Once that's all done, I mean, the picture looks pretty complicated. You would just take your ruler and connect those three new points together to come up with your brand new triangle. So that's been dilated by one half. This is the original, a dilation of one. This is the brand new image, a dilation of one half. Now, for, for um, fun, I'm going to take the directions and say dilating by one quarter. So I need to make a triangle that has one quarter the length of the original. So far, I've got something that's half as big, and you guessed it, to get something that's a quarter as big, you take a half of a half. So I have to do the same moves again for this triangle that I just did for, the, for that triangle. So I have to create three more of these deflated footballs over in this area here and connect them. And this is how that would go. Again, I'm taking my time. Going a little bit more than halfway. If the compass slips and it loses its... Uh, distance, then you're going to have to erase and, and try again. All right, so that's one of those perpendicular bisectors to get a brand new point B. And then I just have to do that two more times. So between B and this C, I have to split this distance a little bit more than halfway. left to do is to connect those together and I've actually created a triangle that has one quarter the length of the original. So this would be a dilation of one quarter from the original pre-image here. While I've got it up on the screen here and, it's, and we've got a little time here, let's talk about how many of these would fit inside of here or how many of these would actually fit inside of here. As it turns out, it would take four of these to fit into here. And I'll try to draw that the best I can, freehand it. It would take four of those triangles that have half the lengths to fit into into the larger triangle. So showing you with the marker here, there's one triangle, two triangles, three and four that would take the, or there'd be four of these pieces, like jigsaw puzzle pieces, that could fit in there. And that's because when you dilate by a half, you make the sides half as long, but you make the area four times as small. We can continue talking about that by comparing it to the, to the very end shape here. How many of these little triangles that were, that, that were dilated by a quarter could actually fit into the overall um, shape? And that would look like this. For each of these little triangles, we could actually put four of those into each of these little triangles. So, um, I mean, the picture gets a little bit more sloppy as I go but would look something like, like this. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
9, 10, 11, 12, and 13, 14, 15, and 16. So if I dilate by a quarter, it would take 16 of these to go into the free image. So the area of the image that's dilated by one quarter is actually 16 times as small as the original. All right, so that's uh, more than you need to know, but a lot of good stuff there with the compass.